Edowe ufeno rowa otami no rowe rowa la reo go di rowa na do mu la reo ira e rowa na wa ga do si o ofeno rowa tami no rowe rowa first we dey as na e tell person say mo na first we dey your as na e tell u dey as say mo na come diamond dey this as go dey this as mo come carry this story of this woman this video one I was so very serious I want share with you na so my people people with this woman gada when body people with this woman they feel people with this woman they pay monthly salary na e buy this woman na e buy her the one way just pay me the one way be overall the oka pata pata of them and the one way be we be and na that one they tell it na that one they hand over your account hand over everything na that one plan this thing na that one be oka pata 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 of them driver workers as a Everybody, Jesus, they collect good, they collect their dollar, they collect all these human things. That one, okay, no, they cost to take a life, John. Oh my god, people are wicked, eh? People are wicked. We're gonna let us people who they feed, we they can't be against us. We're gonna let people who they feed, people who say we could still help, and then we can't be against us, and then we can't buy us, and we will see that kind of thing for body. This woman, people where they give food for monthly, people where they pay monthly salary, they do this thing to this person. For my dad, like they say, rat with their ass, now they tell them with their ass, I say, come, something there. For no row water, men no row, they will row, wow. Mona, be careful, be careful, Mona, they guard the poor for body. What body? Eh, can I not have a cook? Even in my way, was Jenna. They said life deep. Not before me, I go Lagos. Not before me, I go Europe. Now, where you and me sit down, now the life for deep. Now, if for deep, eh? Who now watch with my brother and my sister? We live in a wicked world and no one should be trusted. It has now been confirmed that both the personal assistant, the driver and one other staff of Mrs. Debbie were responsible for taking her life. The personal assistant clearly confessed that they took her life in order to collect the numerous dollar currencies she was sprayed during her birthday party. They took account of how some of the special guests she had invited from overseas showered notes of dollars on her and how countless of renowned elites requested for her bank details and sent her money. They ganged up against her inside her bedroom after taking delicious foods and drinks at her birthday party. They had waited for most of the well-wishers and families to leave before storming her bedroom with knives and cutlasses in order to take all the dollar notes she was sprayed during the celebrations. And to end it all, her life was also taken. This is a sad one. Not everyone celebrating you genuinely loves you. And most of the times, the closest people around you are always the biggest enemy. Mrs. Debbie Olakunbi was a vibrant and hardworking woman who had struggled so much in her life through thick and thin to become a successful established events and catering manager. She gave all of her best to build her success and brand. And despite all of her struggles, she was not given the chance to relax and enjoy the fruits of her labor. During her 54th birthday celebrations in her house on the 23rd of July 2024, she entertained several visitors from far and near with assorted wines and foods and everyone was happy to be around her. And when it was time for the celebrant to dance and grace the occasion, several members of her friends and associates stepped forward to cheer her up with gifts and money in various currencies and denominations. And this is where her trouble started. Mrs. Debbie, as the leader and the director of her company, all of her employees were also present to witness the occasion, not knowing that not every smile is associated with love. Everyone chanted birthday praises on her as they eat their favorite delicacies, but behind the scenes were secret plots by some of her own closest employees to steal all the hard currencies she was sprayed. And not only that, they also wanted all the numerous bank alerts she received as birthday gifts and lastly, some of her valuable belongings like experience expensive goods and jewelries. According to sources, Mrs. Debbie was described as a kind and friendly woman who treats her workers well with kindness and trust. However, 
treating your workers fine is good, but nothing can please a greedy and desperate mind. May we not be victims of our own trust and kindness. Domestic workers like house helps, drivers, and even personal assistants lately are now becoming desperate monsters who would not mind doing anything for money and material things, regardless of the treatment and care they get from you. Mrs. Debbie's personal assistant was reported to have always been well acquainted with almost all of her movements and to some extent he is also aware of Mrs. Debbie's bank transactions and finance. This personal assistant had waited for few days after the celebrations to ensure that all of our visitors had gone back to their various places before returning back to Mrs. Debbie's house alongside with Mrs. Debbie's driver and one other staff who also has a like desperate mindset. But in order not to distort ongoing investigations, their identities will not be released at the moment. They suddenly showed up to their boss, Mrs. Debbie, right inside her bedroom with knives and cutlasses, and they demanded for all the dollar notes she was sprayed during the celebrations. They took her two Android phones and also collected her business bank ATM card, which the personal assistant already knows the pain. And as if all of that was not enough, they finally descended on her and took her life without mercy in the most disturbing manner. Every attempt of Mrs. Debbie to beg them fell to their deaf ears, and after they had gotten all that they wanted from her, they tried to light up the house in order to stage the occurrence as a fire outbreak. They opened up the gas cylinder from the kitchen and ignited the bedroom where she was lying lifeless, but unfortunately, the fire only surfaced on her legs before it all went off. Subsequently, the three suspects seem to have limited time and do not want to stay any further in the house, and one after the other, they all disappeared from the scene. Mrs. Debbie's lifeless body was later discovered by one of her relatives, a younger brother who came visiting the following day, and sadly enough, he was met with the lifeless body of the celebrant inside her bedroom. He announced his unfortunate discovery to other members of the family, and finally, the police were contacted. And when it was also discovered that her two mobile phones were missing, the police began a phone tracking procedure. And during the investigation, Mrs. Debbie's personal assistant and some other members of her employees were eventually arrested, leading to the odd confessions of the personal assistant during questioning. It is advisable to remain careful in recruiting domestic workers and to always carry out diligent findings and interviews before bringing anyone close to your homes. This medical doctor's life was also recently jointly taken by the new sets of domestic workers she had employed to her home after working with her just for three weeks.